All right, guys. Uh, what we're going to do here today is um, one of the things that I really uh, struggled with a lot uh, when starting starting my digital marketing agency years ago is is, is essentially doing the books. So um, FreshBooks is uh, a really powerful platform for for bookkeeping, um, but you still need to really understand uh, a lot about accounting um, so that you can. Uh, categorize your expenses properly and you know how to amortize your loans if you get any business loans um, other things like that reconciling your books so uh, that's what we're going to do here today is uh, reconcile the uh, books using the accounting feature on the back end of fresh books um, essentially what you want to do is just come down here to accounting you click on that and a lot of times, uh, depending on how many banks you have connected, hopefully not too many, uh, but you'll have what's called unmatched transactions. And um, go ahead and click on that. Uh, now here's something that I would uh, certainly recommend is uh, don't ever click confirm and continue. I mean, you can, uh, don't get me wrong. And it does save a lot of time and, and I certainly appreciate you know what FreshBooks is actually trying to do here. Um, if you look at at the columns um, in in bookkeeping, when you do uh, bank reconciliation, you are taking your bank's bank statements and you are um, comparing it to your essentially what's called your journal entries, which goes in the cash book. FreshBooks essentially is your cash book. So if you look here, uh, you have. Uh, an amount of cash. I don't know if I'm going to bleep this out or not, so uh, I, I won't talk about the amount. But uh, nevertheless, um, it's it's matched up with the one over on the right hand side. Now that's all fine and well, um, and for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to skip this and get to the next screen and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But when you come down to the bank reconciliation, um, there's some strange anomalies that um, I was introduced to, you know, really back in 2019 and the fall of 2019 and on into the spring of 2020 when I really got down into FreshBooks and the way that it worked and things. Um, there are a little bit of some challenges when it comes to understanding how many bank transactions you can select to reconcile with the cash book entries, which is your fresh books entries on the right. So what I mean by that is, is that let's say, for example, uh, I was going to reconcile these two transactions or I was going to reconcile this transaction from the 3rd of, of February. And for example, if I come over here and I find it 4796, um, that works out fine. No issues. But if you had, let's say, one primary example is when you use Stripe as a payment processor and or as your payment gateway. If Stripe combines, if you have multiple transactions on a single day, multiple large invoices that are being paid um, through Stripe, those invoices will actually get combined and paid out all at once. And sometimes, not all the time, the Stripe transaction fee is only one of the transaction fees for one of your particular invoices. So in my case, um, if I come down to... Here, we're looking at a, again, the left side is the bank, the bank statement. So we're looking at a this is a credit. Um, excuse me, I paused for a moment because I was looking if it was a debit or a credit. This is a credit. Now, when I want to reconcile this, how do I know? how many invoices are are in here in other words are there two invoices in this one 
transaction? Are there three? Are there four? Well, there's no way to really know unless you know you really know your books and things. And um, because I do, I still struggle with it. And this is kind of what I'm explaining here. If you come down to the sixth, uh, match up your dates, and you come further along. Uh, let's see. That is going to be. Okay, that's not the one I was doing. I'm actually doing 2020. Okay, I got to go a little bit further back. Okay, here we are. So I'm, I'm in 2020 now. So 12, 29, 2020. And let's go on the right hand side in the cash book, which is fresh books. And I'm going to start. You can see up here in your header that it tells you the amount that you've selected on the bank statement side, which is nice and convenient. That's cool. And, and here's essentially what we have. Uh, we have uh, an invoice um, that was paid, and then we have uh, another invoice that was paid here. And when you select both of these, one of the things that happens is, is that you'll notice that if you select two on the right-hand side, you're no longer allowed to select two on the left-hand side. Um, I get it. It's a safety issue. Um, but there have been times when I've actually wanted to reconcile four things at once because it's just a little bit easier. Um, what's, what's also interesting is, is that you can, for example, if I unselect those and I come over here, um, let's just say I want to do... trying to think of something that would actually be a good example here. Okay, so I've selected two transactions on the left-hand side. One is a credit and one is a debit on the bank statements. Um, you can only select one item on the right-hand side. In other words, in your cash book, if you were to have two um, bank statement entries that you were trying to reconcile. I, I'm sorry that I don't have the exact example for you. Um, I, I'll try to pull up some screenshots. I pretty much save everything when I work through this. And if I can figure out where that uh, screenshot is on the particular bank statements that was a good example for this, I'll, I'll put it in the video. But uh, long story short, you can only select two from the left-hand side which is your bank statement and and one from from the right and it gets a little bit tricky because you know you're like well what do I do the long story short is is that you have to figure out a way to um, either manually enter in debits or credits on your fresh book side um, yes period point blank you have to figure out a way to to manually log some journal entries on your cash book side, which is in FreshBooks. You either need to split apart an account or a transaction um, or combine it with another one so that you're able to reconcile, uh, in that particular case, the, the two bank statements at once with the, with the FreshBooks um, entry on the, on the right. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, I know it's a a little bit odd and there's going to be more things coming about fresh books certainly um, I love the platform tons uh, really do um, one other thing I want to point out to you guys real quick as well um, let's get started here and we're gonna do another video maybe break this up I'm not sure uh, the next small topic that I want to talk about is when you should and should not uh, reconcile your bank statement with your FreshBooks transactions um, or your FreshBooks entries is if you haven't categorized your expenses properly or that particular expense properly, then when you reconcile them, they go into the reconciled um, transactions. 
But if you were to go back later on and let's say change the category of that particular expense, um, let's say for example, I'm looking on the right hand side and I find legal zoom, for example, on the right hand side, this is not a supply. Um, this is this is essentially it's a, it's a legal it's a legal fee. Um, this is certainly not a supply. Um, so what you want to do is is I'm trying to make sure I don't have anything selected right now and I don't so that's good. So let's go back up here to where legal zoom is. Excuse me. Okay. Um, it is grayed out on the right hand side, but you can come over here and actually just click on it. Sometimes I do it here. In other words, sometimes I edit the expense category here and recategorize it if I notice that it's wrong. Um, but a lot of times what I'll do is, is I will just do everything, you know, per month through the expenses tab on the right hand side to make sure everything matches up. So kind of my mode of, of operating here is, is I just do, you know, one month at a time and uh, the downside to it is, is that if you find out later on that you want to recategorize just a whole swath of expenses, um, like for example, if you own and operate a server um, for your, your agency or your web design, whatever, um, and one year, let's say you have that server categorized as a hardware, um, which I actually did that a long time ago. I used to categorize um, my servers as hardware, but hardware has asset depreciation um, at, and cloud hosting does not have asset depreciation. So, and when you depreciate your assets over time, uh, when you do your taxes, you you cannot depreciate a you know a virtual dedicated server or any other type of cloud hosting. But if you have a server in your garage, um, and that's the way you roll because you're old school uh, and you want to have your own stacks and whatnot, then yes, you would categorize that as as hardware. But going back to what I was explaining, if you wanted to change just you know, let's say one year's worth of um, expenses. I'll type in server here. So you can see here that I have this one categorized as server one. And up here, I have this one categorized as server two. If you also look at the category, these this little tool right here is... Um, I believe it's supplies. This one is, let's look at it real quick. Um, utilities. So the first server, which I ran on last year, I categorized it under supplies. Now these, the supply and the utilities, um, I would say parent category on FreshBooks cannot be changed, but you can enter in subcategories underneath each one of those and you can edit those, but uh, supplies and utilities can't be changed. Um, but if you really get down to brass tacks here, supplies and utilities, um, they're operating expenses. Now they are classified slightly different because um, when you get, if you had a really good accountant, they could separate them out slightly even more depending on, you know, what, what they were. But um, I really feel as though a server fits the, the utilities category a little bit better than supplies does. Supplies is a limited resource. Um, in other words, it comes and goes. Um, not always, like toilet paper, you know, you need that. But, uh, but certainly utilities is something that you just can't live without. You know, it runs, you know, in the background no matter what. Um, so, again, that's just going to have to be something that you're going to have to figure out on your own and take some deep dives. I'm going to be going into that further, so I'm not going to go into that here. But um, to make a long story short, again, if you recategorize your expense, 
it breaks it apart from the bank reconciliation, then you have to go back in there and reconcile those transactions. So um, my advice to you is, is to categorize your expenses really well first. Take a deep dive. You guys can ask me any questions in the comments. Um, I'm an open book. I've been using FreshBooks since 2009. So it's been a long time and um, um, it's got a lot of advantages over over other platforms. I highly recommend it. So I'm in this. I'm not paid either by them at all. This is just me off the cuff. Um, it's my first video. So there it is. But anyway, guys, uh, take care and uh, make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff to the channel. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace.